Hi, welcome to another video by VU3 Golf Skin Nomber. Today we'll talk about how to update the firmware on Hamgeek 5 watts USDX SDR QRP transceiver. And uh, I bought this from Hamgeek, and I think I've already made a video on how this works and everything, uh, the menu options and everything. I just wanted to cover the firmware update part of this because this firmware update is a little uh, tricky. <coughs> and this comes in uh, two. Uh, uh, you know flavors you can say uh, one is the CW version which uses USDX 1.02 W firmware and the USDX FT8 version uh, comes with 4.00 D firmware and as you can see it's uh, a pretty nifty device uh, you can use it in a pinch and the, the UART uh, you know pins that you see here this is how we program it and recently I noticed that in May or uh, May 5th of 2025 they released the software manual on how to update the firmware and have also released the firmware for both the CW version and the FT8 version. I'll put out the links so that you can download them. I've downloaded it. Let's go through that first and then we'll get on to how to update the firmware. And uh, this is the full, uh, you know, uh, full package that they have given. Uh, let me unzip that, uh, extract all. You don't need to, uh, what it contains, uh, why is it not unzipping? Yeah, there you go. Okay, um, so they are providing both versions of Arduino, uh, which is 1.8.13 and the 2.0 version as well, 2.3.3. They are recommending, uh, you will see, we'll go through the documentation once, how they are uh, recommending to update the firmware. So they are recommending that you use a nano um, uh, with the UART port uh, and uh, if I open up the image file somewhere here, I think I had it. Uh, okay, let me cancel this. Anyway, uh, let's go through that. So they are recommending you to install Arduino 1.8.13. Uh, I have 1.8.91, uh, I think. 19, 1.8.19 and it works. So I'll just show you on that and uh, they are um, you know basically asking you to connect those i did like this it works but i have a better option that i'll be showing i'll be showing you how to update the firmware with usb avr uh, programmer uh, you can download it uh, from uh, you can purchase it from i believe i purchased it from robo uh, usb avr usb asp avr right so no product USB ASP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. Probably they ran out of it. Uh, maybe USB ASP program. Yeah, uh, there you go. This one, Robocrest has that. So this is what I'll be using uh, today. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, Robo has that. Their search is pretty bad. Uh, so. Yeah, there you go. It's in stock. It will come with the 10 pin to 6 pin connector as well. Uh, so, but you also need a jig uh, to connect that to 10 pin to 6 pin. They don't have that. That's available in another website. You can um, use that because that will plug in directly to the UART port that uh, the Hamgeek has. So let me see if I can find the photo from somewhere here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this is a 6 pin and the USB ASB AVR programmer comes with a 10 pin out. There is a device i bought it some somewhere i'll see if i can find a uh, link to purchase that um, you can use that to uh, you know convert the 10 pin into 6 pin um, so back uh, to the document on updating the firmware so uh, they are uh, using arduino isp uh, to burn isp uh, code onto nano and then use that as the programmer uh, pretty simple but today uh, let me show you how to um you know uh, you know upload the firmware using hey welcome back so this is the usb asp avr programmer i was talking about let me zoom in a little bit um so this i bought it of robu and uh, this is the converter that i was talking about uh, which is a 10 pin to 6 pin converter you just plug this in this will become a 10 pin to 6 pin and this 6 pin uh, goes into the you add port here you need to figure out uh, which one which side it goes because there is no indication on the plug as you can see there is no notches on the plug side uh, it's all flat both the sides but 
the this side uh, let me see if i can get some light here don't have any light okay there is no light um yeah see that there is a notch there okay so but uh, we'll just go back to the documentation they had given and uh, you can see that uh, let me just zoom in a little bit um the uart side it is vcc mosi and ground uh, let me uh, so okay it's on the uart pen it is vcc uh, if i hold it like this it is vcc mosi and ground i can they have given an image here uh, so i'll just uh, turn that image and there you go it's vcc mosi that's vcc mosi and ground so we look at the pins here uh, so here it is vcc mosi and ground and this side it is rsd uh, sck and uh, miso so this side um, vcc mosi and ground we just plug this in into the six pin and it goes and settles in nice and clean as you can see right now we plug this uh, just to remember, uh, we don't get a, uh, now that we have plugged this, I'll come back and uh, show you everything on the laptop side, right? How to install the driver for that and everything. Let me just come back. Okay. So now that uh, we have connected that device onto the laptop, you see that USB ASP uh, comes as a serial bus device. It really does not have a uh, port. Like if you connect a Arduino, you will get a port. On what port the Arduino you can connect via, you know, to the Arduino IDE, but this is a universal serial bus, right? Now, uh, let me close both the windows I have here for Arduino IDE, and then I'll go back to the code. Since I've already extracted it, I'll first will burn. Uh, okay, let me also try and uh, record uh, this as well on the uh, another screen. Okay, now I'll just open up uh, what I have here for CW. As you can see here, uh, we have the FT8 version. Uh, see, CAT115, this comes with the ST8 version so that it can handle the Bluetooth, right? Now we'll change it to the CW version. So it'll go back to version uh, 1.02W. Uh, this is, uh, okay, I can switch it on, switch it off. Let me uh, close this uh, and then put it back on so that you can see uh, it coming back 400D, right? You saw that, okay. Now, let me open up this here and uh, I'll open up, uh, if, if you are in a different folder, Arduino will say this file has to exist in a folder of the same name, say okay and it will create the folder and it will move it up, right? Now, how do we put this in, uh, you know, uh, onto the USDX, right? How do we select the port and everything, right? Remember, USB AVR, you can't just... Uh, update your code like you update a Arduino board. You have to use it as a programmer, right? Before that, uh, this has USDR and I have configured uh, the code I have to showcase my call sign, VU3 GWN somewhere. Yeah, there you go. It will print my call sign there, uh, as you can see here. Now, how do we configure uh, the code to use the USB AVR? You go to tools, uh, you don't have to select, you can select any Arduino, it doesn't matter. Because the programmer you need to select is USB ASV, right? That is the one that is critical here, nothing else. Usually you will select Arduino as ISP if you are go going through Arduino Uno like they have given in the documentation. You can see here they have asked you to select uh, Arduino as ISP, right? Here we don't need to select Arduino as ISP. You can just select programmer as USB ASP, right? And then go to tools and, no, sorry, sketch and upload using programmer, right? Some Okay, before we go there, if you don't get USB ASP here and you get any, uh, uh, you know, errors for the driver, you need to install the driver. So let us see how do you install the driver. You go to Zedig and then uh, you select options, list all devices. You should get USB ASP. Install this driver, win USB, install this driver. And once the installation is complete, you will see USB ASP here. This is extremely critical. Make sure you don't forget that. You do this step, right? Once you do that, uh, you can uh, restart the Arduino once again just to ensure that it selected the right device. And the, then you can s click on not upload, but upload using programmer, right? I am showing this as well here. Upload using programmer. It will compile. As you can see, it is compiling now. 
and uh, we'll see this uh, go back to 1.02w. See, it's writing now and the screen has gone, uh, backlight is gone and you can see that it's writing here, right? And you can see that even though USDR it's written here, uh, let me put on the torch a little bit, USDR, it'll go to being VU3 golf is number after it's written. Right, it's reading now. A verification is going on. Don't touch anything. And remember, you don't have to connect the power. The power is coming from the USB AVR, USB ASB device. Do not connect the power. There is no power connection needed. Okay, and there you go. It's 1.02W. If you have seen that, we are on uh, the 1.02W firmware. Right, so this is how you burn. Uh, for the sake of verification, let's also go and burn the FT8 version. I want to go back to FT8. So, right, uh, let's verify what we have here. Programmer is USB ASP. Just verify that and sketch upload using programmer, right? So, I mean, it makes it USB ASP device makes it whole whole lot easier to update the firmware, and it's super smooth rather than connecting the six wires to the Arduino board and then, you know, hoping that all the wires stick into the breadboard correctly. It's a pain. I've done that and it's a pain. And yeah, this thing is super smooth. You can customize the firmware, upload it again and again. It makes it very, very easy, right? I have not changed the call chain in this, so it will come back to USDR plus. So that's how we know we are on 4.002 plus. When it resets, you will also see the chip. See, it's already written uh, the firmware and uh, it's uh, doing verification and uh, it's uh, doing verification now by reading it back it will also build a hex so you can use the avr dudes uh, software to upload the hex you know any number of times but see we are back to usdr plus which is the ft8 version of the firmware thank you very much hope uh, this makes it easy for you yeah uh, it's if you have arduino devices it's i'll just remove this it's very very handy to keep this usb avr uh, USB ASP AVR device, uh, if you work with uh, uh, Arduino stuff and uh, devices that uses 80 mega 328p, this helps a lot, right? I don't, I, I think I've added this case, this heat shrink wrap so that it uh, lasts for some time, but I don't think it comes with that. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for being part of this. Hope uh, you find this useful. 73 and catch it on the log.